name is Susan Wacha, and I'm welcoming Mrs. Parents for a conference, teacher parent conference. Um, given Misty's background, she has um, a little bit of challenges with speech, communication, and also being able to use his to use her hands when she's doing an activities. So for the activities that we've been planning and putting across for Miss uh -huh. to try is to make sure those are self-correcting activities, whereby she's able to use the two hands that to develop her problem solving skills. We've had the painting activity, we've had the sorting activities, we've had the interaction activity when she goes to the center, like the cooking center, the kitchen area. So most of those activities are to develop her speech, to interact, be able to use her words, to ask a few things and also to share. The activities that I've included in Misty's program are the activities to help her use her hands and also to help her have a positive interaction with her friends and the surrounding. I have a plan to have materials close to her and set up a welcoming environment whereby she feels comfortable and also she can have a sense of belonging given that I'm conducting an inclusive class with diversity in terms of learning abilities, race, color, and culture. So to the parents, um, I want to assure you that Mist is safe. We love her. She's included in all activities. She participates in all she participates in all uh, hands-on activities and she's part of the group because most kids have shown interest in knowing what she is and what she can do better. So it's been kind of uh, putting her in those groups whereby she feels challenged, wanting to do things that she has never wanted to do. For example, Mist has a challenge of you know having paint on her hands, getting anything stuck it stick it to her hands. So using um, uh, using uh, instead of paint, I've decided to include activities like using uh, um, shaving cream, which doesn't stick, and some of those activities that I've included in Misty's uh, plan uh, to develop her goals in development and growth are uh, those activities that I feel are going to be a little bit challenging, but fun for her to be motivated, to be encouraged, to participate actively and get engaged in those activities. So I've created a welcoming learning environment, a safe environment for the parents to know that their child is safe. I've created very um, safe transitioning um, activities whereby Mist is able to move from one activity to another supportive environment and materials and also i would insist on making sure we have a consistent communication between mrs parents and the teacher who is taking on responsibility and care when misty is at school so um, this conference is to help you parent touch base with me on how i'm helping misty develop her growth and also a couple of skills that she lacks. So um, this conference is also to uh, assure you that we are developmentally going slowly and the progress is going to be evident because we are moving from one place from one place to another. So she's progressing. She's progressively acting out so well and becoming participant because of the activities I've sorted and planned for her with the benchmarks, which are also um, are, are entitled, are entitled to have meet, to meet the objectives of being able to use the fine motor skills, speech skills, communication, and the social skills. Thank you so much. I hope to hear from me, from you. Let me know any feedback as a parent, how I can also be helpful to help Misty's growth and development.